Hey everyone, this is John. Welcome back to another short tutorial on working with TradingView. In this video, I'll walk through how to send TradingView alerts to a Discord server using webhooks. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is create a webhook inside of Discord. So here's a channel where I'd like the messages to be shown. I'm going to click on the gear icon. We're going to go into integrations. We're going to choose create a webhook. We'll give this a uh, name TV alert. We're going to copy the webhook. It, it's important to know you need to keep this URL safe as this is the key to sending alerts into Discord. So if this is ever compromised, go in and delete the webhook and create a new one. So we copied the webhook URL. We're going to go ahead and save the change. We're going to back out of this and now we'll head over to TradingView. I'm going to create an alert. We'll choose add an alert option. We'll come back to the settings in a moment. We'll go over here to the notifications tab and you'll notice we have this option to use a webhook URL. We're going to paste in the URL that we just received from Discord. And now we'll go into the message and there's a specific format that we need to use in order for the alert to be recognized by Discord. So let me show you a very simple example. The format that's here is called JSON and it stands for JavaScript Object Notation. And this is a lightweight text-based format for storing and exchanging data, often between web applications. It organizes data into key value pairs, and this makes it easy for both humans and computers to read. I will include some additional information about this format in the description below the video. Once we have that, now we can go into the settings and let's choose a price that's close to the current price and try to trigger an alert. So we'll give that just a moment. You can see down here in the lower left, our alert was triggered. If we head over to Discord, here's the alert. Here's the symbol that generated the alert, and here's the current price. So let's go ahead and look at a more comprehensive example. I'm going to head back over to TradingView. I'm gonna double click on the existing alert, go into the message tab, paste in a new format, and you can see here we're gonna include a title, a description and the color. And the color is an RGB value and you'll see how that's used in just a moment. So let's go back to the settings and find a price that we think will generate alert here. We'll give this just a minute. And here's our alert down here. Let's head over to Discord. And here is the second alert. So you can see we have the webhook name. The color that I referenced is this vertical bar. We have a message showing the date and the time. Here's the symbol, the price, and the exchange. Let me show you one final example. We'll head back to Trading View one more time. We'll double click on our existing alert, go into the message tab, and this time we're gonna add some additional information, including a URL, and we're gonna format the data a little bit differently. Instead of just being a horizontal line with the information, we'll create two columns. And you can see we also changed the RGB color reference. We'll go back over to settings, and put in a price, we'll give this just a moment and hopefully we'll trigger an alert. You can see down here, here's our alert. So if we head over to Discord, here is the third example. The webhook name on top, here's the symbol. You can see our data is now shown in column format and we have the day and the time. The final thing I wanna point out here is we added a reference to a URL. So we can now click on this and I'll actually bring up a chart with the symbol that was referenced inside of the alert. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found this helpful. We'll see you in the next video.